previously on Last Star. The only way this is going to work is if we imitate each other exactly. How come you're hanging out with fat middle-aged blokes? Oh, sounds like you're hoping to get your story straight. I expect the team to pull together, to show some passion. Did he hit my high I'll show you what you can do with your passion. Jack got fired. What the hell are we going to do now? Everything okay? Here's the thing. You got fired as well? Ice. Uncle Day, right? Are these going to all be short episodes? I was saying, was these, were, are these all going to be short episodes? Why don't you just go to the doctor? Well, Molly's got a point, John. I mean, we can't be the first case of something like this. Right. Well, I'm not sure the National Health Service stretches to body swapping. Yeah. You're not putting mustard on that, are you? You've got Jack's allergies now, Dad. Ooh. Sorry, I keep forgetting. <laughs> I'm going to end up killing myself one of these days. Sorry, mate. Which one comes after Anne Boleyn? Uh, <laughs> like... <sighs> Anne of Cleves. Catherine Hepburn. It can't hurt to go to the GP about this. Uh, how was I? I was there. wrong. <laughs> um... Maybe there's other people we could see as well. You know, people who specialise in the mind. Like a brain surgeon. Uh, like a, like a, like a bum. I, I'm only thinking about God. Yeah, or a psychologist or something. And the only God can you tell this. Shop near the tube station. Hooked on a healing. No, no, love. You're thinking of a psychic. Bunch of con artists. Yeah. Hang on, though. Molly might be onto something there. Both yeah. jobless. I might be on to swapped something. brains. Desperate times demand desperate measures. We shouldn't be closed off to any potential situation. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Okay. Fine. But if this flat ends up being decorated with healing crystals uh, and scented candles, no, I'm going to be pretty miffed. No, sir. It says Abilene was beheaded for fornication. fornication. Yeah. What's fornication? Um. <laughs> uh. You what? It actually says that. I need to read some more history books. <laughs> oh boy, beheaded for fornication. Sounds See you tonight, real. yeah, Mom. With any luck, we'll be back in our own bodies by dinner time. Bye, Dad. See you later, Jack. So, I've got a list. Uh, we've got an appointment with your GP, Dr. Ajibola, and then we're seeing that therapist I found online. Aren't you forgetting something? Yeah. Yeah, we are going to have our auras read too. I haven't forgotten. Our auras, please. You know, there is one good thing that you got going for you. Uh, let's hear it. Go on. I love the way you say bastard. It's got a nice tombra. Bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Go on, let, let's see you say it for comparison. Chat, mate. You're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Bastard. Oh, they're becoming friends now. That's nice. Neighbors into friends. Yeah. Yeah. John, good to see you. And who is this we have with us? Oh, hello, Doctor. This is my cousin, Jack. Pleased to meet you, Jack. Oh! So how can I help you both? That's from Mina's story, heart, Felix! The guy that he was, she was sleeping with. with my heart, isn't it? Uh, I'm no, out no, no, of it. No, it's, it's not I, that. It's I a forgot. Bit of a Felix. Don't worry. There isn't much you could say which could shock you. He's a psychologist. He's a, uh, uh, a GP. Be too sure about that. It's something that's affected us both. What this um we've not really been feeling ourselves and the symptoms started at roughly the same time you could say yeah, that yeah you'll have to give me a bit <sighs> more to work with um okay, okay. <laughs> this Let's sounds try crazy hypothetically speaking would it be possible to inhabit another person's body and how might one reverse said hypothetical action hypothetically speaking if you two are on something, I'm afraid the best thing you can do is go home. <laughs> he and thinks sleep we're on drugs. 
Right, I'm just going to come out and say it. I'm actually Jack and he's John. Somehow we've swapped bodies and we want to swap back. Fellas, you realise April Fool's Day was six months ago. Yeah. So there's nothing you can do for us? John, come back in two months as we agreed for your regular checkup. Jack, it was nice to meet you. He said, get out well, of my office. Looks like I'm going to have to find a new GP. Yeah, that was okay. awkward. Burn that bridge. What's next on the list? Ah, a psychologist. Should be interesting. What did the doctor mean when he brought up that thing about your heart? You've been ill. Well, yeah, I had a mild know. heart attack a few months back. I mean, it sounds worse than it is. Just spent a couple of days in hospital, and couple. now I just have to watch my cholesterol. Pretty normal, really. It's, it's nothing that serious. Jesus, John, that's about as serious as it gets. I try not to think of it like that. Right, well, look, no more junk food from now on. I'll cook tonight. Well, you haven't seen me in the kitchen, have you? I mean, you know, I don't want to brag, but I'm like a culinary wizard. <laughs> Can't take all the credit. It's the French jeans. The French jeans. You're part French. Well, let's see, I'm half English, quarter Scottish, a third Irish, and an eighth French. Okay. Right. Yeah. All right, pal. These camera angles are wild. Hello. You're both related, is that right? Yeah, we're cousins. Okay. Well, nice to meet you both. Before we get started, I'd like to go through the different options we have available today. Okay? Like plan sure. like money plans? So my family therapy package starts at 250 pounds per hour. Ooh. Bloody daylight robbery. An hour? Well, yeah, better talk fast. Side, you know where we're going next, don't you? <laughs> oh wow! An hour? I'm in the wrong employment business. Oh lord! All right, lads. Can I help with anything? Actually, yeah. Um. My friend here is going to explain it to you. Isn't that right, Jack? All right. Listen. Uh, <laughs> sorry. What's your name? Ron. Right, listen, Ron, we have got a little bit of an odd one here, but by the looks of this place, maybe it's right up your street. I'm listening. Okay, oh. so the long and the short of it, well, <laughs> we've swapped bodies. Me and him. My right. I know it sounds crazy, but it's actually it Sounds the truth. crazy. Ever heard of anything like this before? Right. Body swapping. Okay, he thinks we're mental. That's perfect! Excuse me? What? I've read so much about this. You've seen this before? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, you're a liar. You having us on? Come on, come to my office. Let's see if we can sort this out. I don't believe you. Well, all right. This dude got an Here, alien sit yourself poster. Down, lads. I'll be with you. Oh, dude, mm -hmm. this doesn't look good. Alien poster. The truth is out there. Oh, he believes in aliens, yeah. This is where the magic happens. Uh huh. Must be more common than we thought. Oh, yeah. The world's definitely not what you think, lads. Let me tell you. So, what happens What next, is he then? doing? How's is he Googling it? Like, you must have heard about the secret alien portals that are buried under London. Oh, that was actually the first scene. Right? No. The first look, is there some sort of medicine we can take or... Oh, mate, you should look it up. Seriously. Everyone knows about it. It's not even a conspiracy at this stage. Oh, boy. Ron? Hi. We were just wondering what we do next. Do we just sit here? One second, lads. I'm almost ready. Is he about to stream? Did I see a go live button? Hey. Okay. For God's hey. sake. All right. Uh, and welcome back to another episode he really of streamed. Behind the Curtain. Brought to you by Harvey's Razors. <laughs> the closest killer shaver oh, man can get. This guy. Now, before we get into today's topic, remember to share this video with your friends and smash that like button. Smash. 
Okay. Smart. So today we have two special guests who are here to talk about leave? their tragic tale of this how they swapped brains. Jack, John, why don't you introduce yourselves? <laughs> okay. Uh, well, that's everyone we have booked in. Yeah. We're going to have to think really hard about our next approaches, Jack. I'm kind of running out of ideas. I've got one. What right. is it? Okay. They have no face. Well, I don't know. I totally bought into that last guy. I thought that was it. You know? I'm such a mark. Yes, you are. Did you see the posters in that place? Yeah. Oh, dear. Well, we're just gonna have to keep trying, won't we? Yo, what is the only other option? They bump into that guy you can't again? I remember the last time I went to the pub. Piss off. Don't believe you. You're like the kind of guy who was born in a pub. But you grew up playing the fruit machines, blindfolded, whilst eating pork scratchings, doubting more mail. Ew. Yeah, well, let me guess. You grew up in, uh, in cocktail bars, didn't you? Probably scoffing sushi. <laughs> you can do all that stuff when you're younger. When you're a single dad like me, it gets a little bit more difficult. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If you're a good dad. <laughs> hey. Can I ask you a question? Let's hear it. Let's hear it. I mean, not that this is any Let's business hear it. or anything. Where's Molly's mum? I've been wondering that this whole time. It. Uh. I'll have to get a few more beers down me before we go into I want to hear it. <laughs> Let's hear it. Hey, look. I've got a piano here. Let's play. hear it. Mate, do I play? Are we going to hear the story, though? I want to know about her mum. Okay. Oh, wait. Hold on. I continue playing this. You just join in when you want. What, what? is it? I don't know. Just making it up as I go along. Come on, you play the top line, man. Just, just make something up. Yeah, well, I hope we're not what? pissing everyone off in here. No, no, that's why it's here. Come on. Come on, you got an audience now. Just, just play something. Oh. Fine, okay. I'm a little bit rusty, but I'll give it a go. Yeah. yeah. Watch his face like that. Okay. Give it a go. He's like. You ain't doing that good, bro. <laughs> What's happening? Why is his head going like we like we doing really good? This sounds terrible, my bro. I would have walked out. <laughs> oh, wait, was I not doing it right? Oh, I wasn't doing it right, my bad guys. It wasn't happening to me. It's beautiful. Can I, can I do that one over again? Yeah, I did it wrong. Could I do that again? That was awesome. You're oh. great at the piano, mate. Man, that was terrible, actually. Absolute legend. Yeah. Ugh. That was cool. I forgot it looks L. Looks like this one's for you. In the L. Cheers. Oh, man. Come over to my place and open, yeah? Uh, what's that? Everything okay? Yeah, yeah, sure. She just, no, like the panda. Uh, just check to see if any of your posters got delivered by mistake. <laughs> that red panda getting it in the emoji. Uh, what's up, mate? Can we close the door? Oh, that's rude. What, are we about what's to get this? evicted or something? A bank statement. 
Well, we ain't got money, too. I'm cleaned out. Oh, no. How do you get cleaned out in, like, one day? Weren't you just work? Do you live paycheck to paycheck, sir? I mean, I know that's a life that some people live, but... Like, how do you have this nice of an apartment and... How am I gonna pay for this place without any cash? Without a job? How much is rent? Maybe it's not so bad. Maybe there's something we can do. How much is rent on this place anyway? Probably like 18. A month. Oh! Could crowdsource it, I suppose. Oh! Jesus. For this one bed place. Oh! Well, I guess there's only one thing for it. How long are these boxes gonna be yeah. here? Until I can afford to put them in storage. That's all right, isn't it? Can I look for your stuff? No. Yeah, we need money, man. The long and short of it is that one of us needs to get a job. These bills aren't going to sort themselves out. Too true. Yeah, no offense, but I'm never going to get another games job if I have to use your CV. 25 years working in the same office. Who do I mean? Why don't you get your old job back, Dad? Yeah. Shazzy was saying they haven't found anyone to cover your casework. Mm. Not a bad idea. Apply for my old job as Jack. Just like switch you jobs. Kind of give it hey. a bit of a uh, You're going to have to sort your look out, Dad. Oh. No one's gonna hire you if you dress like that. Well, he's right. Gotta get you spruced up and all and dapper. dapper. 90% of acing an interview is all about wearing a sharp suit. No one wears suits to interviews anymore. Shit. And there goes the shirt. Oh, I burnt pizza. It's all right. 